Yada. Greetings, foolish mortals! Tis I, Cat, here! I myself, Gore's deep throating an omelet. Gore's words, not mine. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? All y'all doing do great? Funky fresh, fancy free. How's your weekend so far? It's Friday. Not Friday, it's the actor day. It is the day of the sitting. I am sitting. You are sitting. He, she, they sitting. Sitology. Sitology? Sitology. Yes. Hello. Anyway, today we will be back to Kingdom Hearts. We will be doing more of the Ventus's chapter. And if I am correct with my math, I think, at least if we go by the patterns of what it was for Terra, good. Enjoy the weekend so far. Enjoy it. Consume it. Wait, don't consume the weekend. How do you consume a weekend? <laughs> Excuse me. I am sorry for the gas. We are not doing a burp counter. We will never do a burp counter here. Thank you. If y'all want to see a burp counter, go on to Dan's stream. Because Dan, I think, I think like, at least last time Dan streamed, a good percentage of those burps that happened on that stream were mine. Um, Hello, Satana Demon. I followed you on the sky of blue, by the way. You have to deal with that now. Hello. Hemlo, Hemlo, Hemlo. Uh, again, uh, if we go by the patterns of how I went through Terra, I think we're also going to be through Adventus today. Uh, I you were watching in bed? Scandal. Um, so we most likely will be done with Airhead, aka the Airheaded Twink, as Core calls him, Ventus, and we'll be starting Aqua next. Hopefully, maybe. Back wood. Um, Core is still uh, eating an omelet the size of his head, apparently. I'm curious how big that all. <coughs> Hello. Um, so last night was interesting for me. So uh last night I um ate my weight in Chinese food. <laughs> so uh due to uh reasons involving um I don't want to really talk about it. Um I ate my mom brought home Chinese food. I get my spare ribs. And they have been very generous with the spare rib size. Usually they're a lot smaller. Lately they've been a lot bigger. Like the size of the spare ribs themselves. Which is great. And I ate a whole serving for myself. Delicious. No rice. I wanted rice, but mom didn't get rice because you can't get more meat. Congrats on your laptop coming in, Leo. Congrats. Um. And so... Uh, I ate that. Also, a whole serving of crab ragoon. God, I love crab ragoons. They're so good. I really need to learn how to make them for myself because at least teach me how to make the filling. The filling is so good in crab ragoon. Oh, I am. I am such a. I am such a white middle class person who loves crab ragoon. Um, and I ate a lot of it. And um. I ate the whole, usually I don't eat the whole order that my mom brings home. Usually I have some le for leftovers for the next day, which is what I usually do. But apparently, due to who knows what reasons, hello, Archleon, um, I ate the whole damn serving. And then I had very weird dreams last night. Chinese food gives you weird dreams, apparently, if you eat a lot of it. I didn't know. Cor, how long does it take for you to eat an omelet? Anyway, <laughs> takes takes a lot. Um, it, it gives you weird dreams, apparently. I have learned this. Uh. Oh, look, conga line. Leo26718 gifted a tier 1 sub to Satania Demon. I think it's a pro- given 24 gift subs in the channel. I think it's very, very massively appropriate that there is a Luxord Pog face now going across the screen. I worked so hard on that one, and by work so hard, I mean I had to find that find a good quality version of that. Ah, I also have coffee. That's gonna make me extra gassy. Um, sure. While um doing things, thank you. So um, I had a brain fart. Oh, fuck. 
I think I saw Elvis. Um. So yeah, I had weird ass vivid dreams last night. Apparently eating a lot of Chinese food and then going to bed makes you have that. Learn that. Great. I also, um. Needs more garlic. More garlic. I like enough garlic that makes vampires can't go within 20 feet of me. Can you tell I'm Italian? Um, other things. I found a weird random button. Like, it's a button. It's not like a shirt button. It's like, it's a big button, like for pants or something. I just randomly found it on my chair. I don't know where it came from. It's not on my chair. My chair does not have buttons. So it can't be the chair button. And fun fact, the shorts I'm currently wearing have only one pocket on them and the pot on the backside, and it has a button on it, and it's not from there. So I have, like, this random mystery button that I have no idea where it goes to, and it's going to be, like, a weird Cinderella situation right now with this button, I think. It's Cinderella, but button-based. Anyway, enough distraction, because I can't think of anything else to talk about unless Cor suddenly pops in wearing a hat. I don't know why I expected Cor to just suddenly pop in when I said that. Seriously? Uh. Ugh. Hello, Aqua. Is confetti broken? <laughs> no, it's not. It just takes a while to start. Confetti, why do you take so long to start? Thank you, Sebastian. Anyway, confetti just takes a while to start up. Anyway. So, why don't we just get to the game and wait for Core to get in here, and Core being Core will be Coring. Core? Core! How long does it take you to eat an omelet? Seriously, how long does it take for the average person to eat an Open omelet? Up, okay. No, I'm not, Gladio. I just started and I'm going through crazy. Oh, Jesus! No, 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 no! Bad game. Okay, it is working. Uh, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Speaking of which, Spanish Inquisition reminded me. Uh, da, da. It's time for the holiday season! Which means... Hold on, go back to the talking screen. We have to go back to the talking screen. <laughs> no, Kingdom Hearts. No. Uh, open volume mixer. Quiet you, Kingdom Hearts! Anyway. It's the holiday season! Holiday season has started! The Yule got, the Yule has begun! The goat has been set up to prepare to be burnt down! <laughs> that goat better fucking burn down this year. It is time to bring out... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The Christmas hats! Spiders, are you ready? I'm ready! Holiday hats! Yay! Holiday hats! It is holiday hat time for my lovely little guys! Oh, and before I forget, I need to activate a certain redeem. Not that one. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Uh, and it's my body. Also, it is time to bring back the thing that comes every Christmas. You know her. You love her. I think it's activated. I will do it. Yes. I love Padoru Padoru. I need to- I need to make a Padoru version of myself. I need to make a, um, a Padoru version of myself and just make a Padoru Padoru version of, you know, myself that can maybe randomly go across the stream. But, I don't wanna. I'm lazy. I have a lot of other things to do, including drawing more festive Pokemon. Are you guys excited? All st art streams are gonna be festive Pokemon streams! Unless I have commissions, then I have to do those first. Festive Pokemon! Anyway, now back to the game! 
Okay, good. It's not playing the wind you walk away. Anyway, time to continue. Now, I didn't do any crazy grinding today. Oh, it's Nums Bongo. I love Nums Bongo. I wonder who made Nums Bongo. Me. I made Nums Bongo. Anyway. Uh, I haven't done any off-stream grinding. So don't think I'm doing... Where do I have to go to next? Ah, it's here. Right. I haven't done any of that. Um, hold on. Let me just check my volumes. Can y'all hear the game, by the way? I have to do volume a... No, no, don't go to full blast, Jesus Christ. Well, see, the problem is I have to do the volume, like, at a certain level. Because if I do it any, like, higher, um, Twitch's little, uh, Autobots come in. Autobots. Autobots, roll out. Um, Twitch's lovely little copyright detection bots go off and they cut off, like, half my audio. And then it's a pain in the ass. Anyway. Land, bitches! So I haven't done any grinding... This time, because I'm like, eh, whatever. Mickey. Oh no, it's Mickey. He's dead. Damn, it's so sad he died. I'm getting the popcorn out. Oh no. Mickey died. Xehanort, kill him! Kill the guy voiced by Leonard Nimoy! Kill him! Do I have the Kill Bill sound? Do I have the- Hold on, hold on. We're not continuing this until I find out if I have the Kill Bill audio. Spray bottle, everyone's problem, string break- Do I not have the Kill Bill ability? Okay. Fine. Next best thing. Oh no! He's going through it! He's going through it, everyone! He's going through! Yes. So you're starting to realize... Going through! What you lost. Emotional, oh, damn it! You had to lose it. Thank you, Albert John, for becoming a subscriber... For being a subscriber. Your blanket has been upgraded from cotton to flannel. Great you're for the winter fine. times. Now it can all be yours again. If you only reach out and take it. Reach out and touch faith. Clash with him. No! Against pure darkness to forge the ultimate key. The she blade! The all powerful key blade! I hate it. It's called the key blade, even though it's an X. The X gonna give it to you, Blade. Blade. Not the key blades you and I carry. That's an X! That is an X! Oh, I'm going to be screaming at Leonard Nimoy today. I am running on one and a half cups of coffee. I'm going to be angry. Yes. A letter that spells endings. No. No, no, no. Key does not spell the letter of endings. Omega does, because Omega means end, if you want to break out the H in Latin. Correct. Ericus knows it, too. He knows exactly what you are. A piece of yes. toast. Master Xehanort, as creepy as it's all fuck, get out. He do- His outfit is pretty nice. I'm not gonna deny that. I like the shoulder pads. He looks like a- He looks like a knockoff Sephiroth. Ericus was frightened of you. Xehanort was warning us about Twitter. That's what you are. He never trusted you. Why else? Why else would he keep you within his sight at all times? Mr. Nimoy, I know you're dead, but you're doing very well in acting on this very stupid script. 
You're doing very well. Giving your all. Good work, Mr. Nimoy. Let me see other worlds. No matter how much I ask. <sighs> how many burps have I done for this stream so far? I'm not counting them. Chinese food plus caffeination equals gassy belly time. Three. Remember your purpose. Okay, so I'm not the only one who see who sees the Sephiroth influences on Xehanort. I'm not crazy. See, Cork told you, not crazy. They give Mr. Nimoy the best roles in children's properties. He's excessively intense. I mean, was he intense in Journey to Atlantis? Because he's in Atlantis. He's in Atl the Atlantis movie. You're in the womb. A giant potato. Well, that happened. Now we are back here as the land of departure. Well, that was a very interesting thing. Oh, you were meeting the Page Master. Oh, God, I forgot about Page. Oh, God, I love the Page Master. I loved that movie when I was a kid. Yeah, he's as serious as Michael Caine in the Christmas movie. Yes, this is a dumb children's property. Do I hear a core? I hear a core. Core, you ass! <laughs> oh no, someone has to now use bits and a hype train will happen. Well, well. Do they now? Yes. Yes, Core, they do. Oh my gosh! Everybody, you know what to do. Come on, let's go! Remember, folks, all proceeds go to Hopper! Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Go help a cute kitty. Who is gonna lose a limb? <laughs> Thank you, backup ginger. <laughs> Thank you, backup love, for the for for, for your contribution. <laughs> Hi, Cor. How was the omelet, by the way? Uh, I don't know. I didn't taste it. Oh, did you just snake it? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I did. Maybe my digestive tract currently hates my ass. Oh, so does mine. I'm gonna explode later. And I've done dance, dance, and I've done dance, dance. People can do offline hype trick. That sounds like a threat. I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Oh. Hey, letter. I have friends. Oh, that's not a letter. That's a threat. <laughs> yeah, that's more or less what it is. No, I think I've. I've heard, I've witnessed, well, witness. I found the reaction to offline hype trains happening for some people. Also, Core, would you believe, what, guess what I did? What have you done? You know Eldritch Grandpa, the VTuber? Yes? You will he find the key to the hearts. Aww. Lunar, you're gonna find the key to the hearts! That's you such a wonderful fortune! Like okay, stretch and posture check. Stretch! Oh, did we already shout out Lunar? No, Lunar just popped in, so Drink just up. shout out Lunar. Oh, cool. Awesome. All right. Uh, Baba hey, Booey, uh, bitch. Hey, Lunar. <laughs> Lunar, interesting. Interesting thing that you're here. Uh, interesting, interesting. Baba Booey. Go follow Lunar. They're, they're an awesome little goblin. Yes. So, uh, Eldritch Grandpa is actually looking up for uh, collabs. Guess who might have applied? You? Maybe. They have lethal company. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So af after a few days with that, without playing that game, how is your mental state? Better. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah. Okay. Better than fucking Phasma, I can tell you that much. Oh, it's way better than Phasma. Um, oh yes, I um... Lunar, due to the new emote wall program I'm using, whenever I shout someone out, their emotes now get to dance on my screen. Woohoo! Get all the emotes all of the time. I love this new emote wall, by the way. Hold on. Let me show you something fun that you can do. Um, currently, I'm going to... I have it, I think, currently only set up for mods and uh, me to do it, but... uh. If it works. 
There it goes. <laughs> I Why just does it look like your emotes are attacking each other. It's kind of the joke. It's basically Kappa Jim basically makes a random thing happen with my emote wall. Oh, really? It only works for mods and uh... Let's see what mine does. Notes up! There's Ascending! A... They ascend! I think I also have it set up. Uh, I love it. Uh, Lunar, I'll teach you how to set up the emo. This version, this uh, pro emo wall program is actually a lot better than the one in Stream Elements. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because it's actually updated and works? Well, yes. Also, animated emotes actually animate on screen. Yay. See, my crab is actually crabbing. Oh, my bongos God. are actually bongoing. My vibing is actually vibing. I right, so got a minute and a half to get to high play, high train level two. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it when you when you're free, Lunar. <laughs> I love how everyone's like, it's a, it's a great emote wall. Actually, I like that. Um, I know there's also one where they can just set up a pyramid, but I I haven't hit that one yet. Anyway, back to the game. Four. We might finish Venetus today. Yay! I mean Ventus. You know what that means, Core? What? Aqua. One last run. <laughs> Excuse you. I have been very gassy today. You know, eating a whole serving of Chinese food last night, one gives you vivid as fuck dreams, and the MSG makes you gassy. <laughs> Now people are just going to use e emotes just to watch them float around and do funny things. I don't blame them. I was doing the same thing when I was testing it. Oh, I thought Aqua would... Hello, Mark Hamill! Four, look seductive for, uh, Ma for Mark Hamill. You don't uh, I don't trust this one. You don't trust this one? You need to stay I don't trust this Mark Hamill. This Mark Hamill ha is a good Mark Hamill. What? I don't know, man. I, I he's giving me vibes. Keeping me imprisoned here. And Xehanort doesn't. I mean, Xehanort does. Xehanort is clearly you? evil. Then I'm supposed to be. This dude, way. however, is like some kind of cable. maybe evil. I mean, Questionable ethics, Xehanort. if you may. He could never let ah, him. we're only down to a hype train. Level Kinda one. Rich. Level one hype train, but you know what? Come on, let's go. Wait. Every character in this game makes me punchy. Even Luxord husband? Punchy in bed, you say? There's a reason the precepts bar us from. The question: When you say punchy in bed, are you mean you're donkey punching them in the bed, or are you doing um a fisting motion into? All the worlds in darkness, reduce them to nothing. Everyone points out that Mark Hamill's unassuming, even when playing. Wow! Wow! Also, uh, Xehanort, his outfit kind of reminds us of Sephiroth. At least the shoulder pads do for, uh, us, uh, soldier armor. Oh, I could see it. Yeah. This is what happens when Sephiroth doesn't moisturize. They say ruin brings about creation. It's all scrungly. So what then would another Keyblade war bring? Xehanort! Death! the darkness falls, will we be found worthy? Chaos is needed to create order. I'm not going to deny. Uh, as a chaos entity, I wish to punch him. All the death is needed to create the ultimate power. Why am I getting full metal alchemist war flashbacks all of a sudden? Oh, right. How to create the philosopher's stone. Oh, God. Yep. This series stole from full metal alchemist. <laughs> as well. Not while I live. As well. But once again. It stole from Disney with consent. It stole from Full Metal Alchemist because somebody's a nerd. And Star Wars because somebody is a nerd. The light versus dark is a common thing in Shintoism as well, which is a common practice in Japan. Remember. I learned this recently while we were ta while talking about My Hero Academia. In Shintoism, everyone is believed to be born with both light and dark, and we have to do our and it is our duty ourselves to basically balance it. Mind you, I am not a Shintoism expert, so work with me here. So everyone is born with light and dark, right? And it is our point to balance the light and the dark. This is what happens when you have extremes. So trying to say that this is stealing from Star Wars doesn't really make the most sense because it, it is borrowing from. Nope, stealing from Star Wars, a hundred percent. 
The Jedi's are pissed. The Jedi's are They're pissed. They're going to sue. <laughs> They're going. <laughs> Disney can't sue. Disney owns. Anyway. Uh, even don't Luke was. Don't tell Disney what they can or can't do. Disney can give me a cookie. Anyway. It's a nice analogy. I'll give you a, I'll give you a cookie more lawsuit. Oh, uh -huh. if you're going to be doing a Mickey Mouse impression, don't go up against a Floridian. You know that we're required by law to be able to do this impression on key in case of emergencies. Uh huh. My shin and toe are down my leg. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Shintoism! Not sh um. <laughs> It's a nice analogy. It makes sense with the action. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, sorry for pausing this very serious scene, but Cat had a moment of, you know, super 80... Super ethereal. Yes, the super right, ethereal super theme. Super ethereal. Hey, we like the... We like Kingdom Hearts here in this house, you know this. Yeah, unfortunately, and I'm held hostage. Yeah, Core is held hostage. Hey, Core, how, this... are, the, how are the turrets looking, by the way? Are they looking good? Oh, fucking sparkling. You did a fantastic job on... I'm keeping me in this room. <laughs> these are the tur these are the level three turrets from TF2. They have rockets. Hello. This one has sentiency. Oh yeah, I kind of okay. So I took one from Apertures. It was cute. I don't know if I got the defective one or not though. Does it start quoting, quoting prophecies? No, but it keeps looking at me in a weird way. That's normal. I noticed me. Get the fuck out. Hello, Senpai noticed me. Ooh, ooh. I'll put you in a trash compactor once I get out of these bonds. Yeah, have fun with that. They're dwarven bait, buddy. <laughs> oh, did you get that dude from Overwatch to make them? Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck Overwatch. No, 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 no. I went to the actual Norse dwarves. You know, the guys who basically made the thing that holds uh, Fenrir down? Oh, you went, oh, you went to the guys from Go God of War. Yes. Tee <laughs> <laughs> hee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's made out of the same chain from that. I mean, I owe them like a year supply of shortbread cookies, but damn, it's quality. Fight! Up, oh, their lovers are fighting. Listen, everyone ships these two characters together. They have a lovers thing. Oh well, yeah, they're opposites in the track. Dude, it's enemies to lovers right here, people. They are totally butt buddies. It doesn't help Kingdom Hearts 3 kind of sort of solidifies it. <laughs> butt bunnies in battle! I the they're brothers in arms! Do it. Yeah, they're in each other's arms. In <laughs> bed. <laughs> and that's how Eriquist got those scars. If anyone was curious, I wasn't! I, know how I got these scars. No place in this oh, anyway. God. Let's play the joke. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> That movie hasn't co didn't come out yet when that happened. Guess where it got the inspiration? Core, Core, I need you to look up yeah. The Dark Knight right now. <laughs> I need you to look up when The Dark Knight came out. <laughs> I have my reason. Got these scars, Batman. Because I think Dark Knight came after this movie. A bad shaving accident. 2009. When did Birth by Sleep come out? Hold on. We're about to have a freaking. We're having a conspiracy right now. One too many times. Try to make sure you get the OG, not Final Mix. 2010. Guess what stole from Batman? Is no more. I love how we're just like, they- Mark Hamill has to now say contractually, you want to know how I got these scars? Oh, look! Have you gone mad? He's Sarah, evil! I command you, step aside. No! You will not heed your master. I won't. Why do all my attempts to reach Who you fucking fail? called it? Who fucking called it? You are aware that we're not technically stealing from anything. It's more like we're using very commonly used tropes, right? No. Fine. Or it's just being stuck being a little stubborn pants, aren't you? Somebody Somebody pick up that phone, cuz I fucking called it! Hell. It was not- it was the Nazis, wasn't it? It was the Nazis, wasn't it? Come on, say it. Say it. No. Say it. No. 
Come on, say it for me. I'm at half mast. I need this. I'm at half mast. I need this. Fine. You were right. You may be my master. It was nutsies. I love Helsing a bridge. I love Helsing, period. But like, you know. Taking you, Tara. That show did it. Did very much age well. Why, am, why is this drawing like this? What the fuck? Anyway, say the thing. Wait, say the thing. Come on, you Bart. Are... Say the line. Wait, wait. Tara, you are the chosen one! You are to bring balance to the Keyblades! I almost said balance to the force, but I'm like, we have to stick to the Kingdom Hearts theming here. We brought balance to the... Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm, I'm over here. Uh, the Star, uh, Star Wars fan. Excuse me. Balance to the force. We're about to bring... Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Or, I am also a Star Wars fan, points to my VHS copies of the original Star Wars trilogy over there on the shelf that is off-screen that no one can see. Going somewhere? Yeah, and thus can't prove they exist. Aha. Uh -huh. I will throw them at your head. No, I won't. They're VHSs. They're very fragile and can hurt someone. Well, I'm They're very fragile and can hurt themselves as I use them as a bludgeoning device. <laughs> oh, look, it's Vanitas in the gimp suit. I mean, what? what are you waiting? That, isn't that just right him? Here and now. Yes, Become it's his darkness. Darkness, darkness, darkness. No. See, Xehanort decided to separate the darkness and the light in Vanitas, right? Vanitas is the pure light aspect. Uh, Vanitas is the darkness aspect. Ventus is the lead. I'm not fighting. You used to be too broken. Wait, if Sora can see dead people, does that mean he can talk to Force Ghosts? Oh my god, if they bring Force... Oh no, wait, they do bring Force Ghosts back. And there, <laughs> there are Force Ghosts in Kingdom Hearts. Are you can't, I can't wait for you to have to suffer through three with me. As the Star Wars fan that you are. So yeah. So everyone gets the point, right? Xehanort wants to basically start a great Keyblade war so he can make the Keyblade. Because he believes that darkness will create creation. Let the dark impulses waken in the pit of your heart. Release them here and now. Sharpen now we're at this point in the range. story where it's basically like, oh, hey, let's go. Uh, there's Xehanort. We gotta defeat here. Now we're at the part where he's trying to point out that like, you need to embrace your dark side. Oh my god. Do it. Embrace the darkness. They even said embrace the darkness and he just said it. The X blade. Exploit the dark side. Ooh. By the way, by the way. The, uh, the Keyblade with the X symbol and everything, it's supposed to also mean death and the end. I'm sitting here going, you know, Omega also works, but then my brain thought of, oh, crap, let's not use Alpha and Omega in uh, Kingdom Hearts. The beginning and the end. And then he, uh, and then everyone was making jokes going, he was warning us about Twitter. Oh, why have they got to play the sad music? I mean, he's, he is yoinking out the darkness or the heart. Or, what are you yoinking out again? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy. And Vanitas was born. Both. Did I hear Omegaverse? You did not hear Omegaverse. Well, Ventus is dead. By the way, this is a flashback, if anyone doesn't know. Empty creature from Ventus women. Excuse me. I'd like to point out that Leonard Nimoy, even though this is a silly children's media, he's doing very well in his acting. He's very good. And can we give points to that? That Leonard Nimoy is acting very wonderfully in this? Yeah. Awesome. Be right back. Don't leave me! Fine. Then I'll give you a reason to fight. What? Come and find me. Ugh. The one and only place to spawn the Keyblade. The Keyblade Graveyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, you're gonna see me choke the life out of Terra and Aqua. Oh, no! Then we'll see how long we play the pacifist. Do I still have the pa popcorn? Yes, I still do have the popcorn beside me. Oh, no! Terra and Aqua are going to die. 
Oh no. We know they're not because this is a fucking prequel. We have to save Terra and Aqua because Aqua has important things to do in the series. Woo! New Keyblade! <laughs> also, confetti! And Sebastian. Hey guys! You Keyblade, who dis? Oh, also, look, this is the Keyblade you get for when, when you meet Lee. We're gonna deal with that. We're gonna use this one instead. Okay, where are we going? Destiny. Fire. <laughs> fire. Of course, stop starting things on fire. Fior. I'm still young! I can't die! Kusta, mana kusta. I already fought him. Da -ba 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 -ba. Don't da -ba 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 me. Da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Watch your language, mister. Ah. I know I'm supposed to be going to the Keybray graveyard, but I want to look for something. Yeah. Items, not items. Mandex. Keyblade graveyard, where you can find all your, all your Keyblade needs. Second hand. Are you okay? Do you want a cookie? No, I have a shit ton of cookies. Do you want a Do you want a cheese Danish? No. Do you, do you want Get a, all ah. the sweets away from me? I don't want any more sweets. Da, 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 da. Y'all are going like, cat. Yeah, we have to go to the Keyblade graveyard. Ha. Yes. We do, but I want to do something stupid right now. Play the game you like to play. And slap that bitch's belly. You just want me to slap people's bellies, Core. That's what I'm hearing here. What the fuck? What? What weird what weird kink do you think I'm in? No, I was saying slap his belly because it's jiggly wiggly. Ooh, shiny thing. You see someone's belly that's jiggly and wiggly? Slap it. They won't mind. Not hearing you, no. Uh, you, you know, what you're hearing is the silence, que the silent questioning of your my life choices. <laughs> I'm not touching the darkness, Aqua. Oh, cat. Oh, cat. What? Uh, what? I'm I'm the representation of all your mortal sins, cat. What are you doing? You playing some Kingdom Hearts? Ooh. I have a question. Why does my mortal sin sound like that, Kor? Because it's all the worse when I remind you of that one thing you did in kindergarten. You know. Gonna need to specify. I did a lot of embarrassing shit in kindergarten. I don't. I don't know. Like the like the like the one thing that was super embarrassing. You're like, God, why did I do that? I gotta go now. Eat like a bag of Cheetos and try to forget my life. Anyway. That one time that that the server gave you your food and said enjoy your meal and you said you too Do you see my face of concern? <laughs> no, I don't actually cuz you're a PNG tooper and thus lack facial emotions for very good reasons Otherwise, I think I'd see a middle finger creeping up on the screen right now. I'm attacking cheese randomly. I don't know why I'm attacking this cheese, but I'm attacking- Cheese! Attack cheese for everyone! Thank you, Shiogorath. You're fucking welcome. I died for your cheese. Camera, please behave. Thank you. No, it's a Kingdom Hearts game. The camera system is worse than Dark Souls. Are you gonna get the scribbly? Are you gonna get the scribbly? You got the scribbly! You got a Louie sticker! You what? got the evil one! Why is Louie in my... Why is Louie the evil one?! He's the blue one, right? Yeah? 
He's the one voiced by uh, voiced by Sonic the Hedgehog. And has joked saying he needs to voice the Mega Man. Needs to voice Mega Man next. He has voiced three blue characters. Hold on, I need to look up his name because this will be funnier if we actually shout his name. Yeah, I know who you're talking about because he's also in he's in Parks and Rec. Yeah, he is. Uh... No, not not King Louie. Also, Louie is the green one. Louie's the green one? No, wait, hold on a minute. I think Louie's the green one? Damn it, it is, it is the green one. Then uh, it's Dewey. Dewey is the right? blue. Dewey is, yeah, Huey's the yellow. There we go, there's the little asshole. There's yeah. The little fucking anarchist. What's yeah. Your God, who's it, who voices you? Ben Schwartz. It's Ben Schwartz. Ben Schwartz has voiced three assholes. He's very good. Uh, um, he's also played an asshole in freaking uh, Parks and Rec 3. Rem Parks and Recs, remember? I don't remember because I've never watched Parks and Rec. Oh my god, I'm going to have to make you watch Parks and Recs. No, please don't. I'm kidding. I'm not going to make you. Don't make me watch things. I, I, tend, to, I tend to try and escape it via, via my phone. And if not that, then I'm picking at your couch. Do you leave my couch alone? Can you not make me watch Parks and Rec? Okay. This is torture. Well, as if I make you watch something I can't actually. Sit still, cat. I need to go fucking fight a dragon. Core. I mean, Don't I'm. Core me. I I mean, I'm one to talk. Oh yeah, he's the don't be suspicious guy. For those who happen to, you know. Suspicious. Don't be 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 suspicious. But yeah, he was. Uh, he was. He was. He was Dewey. He was Sonic the Hedgehog, and most recently, he was Leonardo from TMNT. Oh yeah, he was also that guy. Which, you know what? I'm sad that I didn't get into Rise of TMNT when it was out fresh. Yeah, because apparently God it's damn, really- that show's really good. Oh yeah, it is good. I didn't get into it either, and I regret it. Oh man, if you got Netflix, fucking binge it. Oh yeah. You're not going to be able to see, like, the final Shredder fight because it's really fucking stupid and they had to, like, cut it out into, like, a second season of little minisodes. It was dumb. I got Thunderstorm. And this isn't my, this isn't my favorite iteration of Splinter, but it is a good one. And the best one is Uncle Phil. R.I.P. Uncle Phil. No, that's Shredder. What did I say? You said Uncle Phil. I said Splinter. As you can tell, Cat has now suddenly decided, you know what, let's go grab all the treasure chests because I need to be more OP in some other aspects. Yeah, Leonardo's the blue one. He wears the blue bandana. So technically he is the blue turtle. Or is right. And by God, that movie goes Fucking hard. And make you feel emojis. Yes. It's they... so good. And they made crying of like an inevitable threat. Ah oh, yes, the guy sometimes sounds like this. For one, there's not one crying. There's like three or four. And oh. another, they infect people. They turn them into like freaking eldritch abominations. Who are you calling an eldritch abomination, bitch? Well, obviously not you. Actually, hold on. I have to check something. Area Slam still needs to update. Oh, the fuck. Don't you um actually me. I swear to God. Um, actually, I want a cookie. This isn't the fucking game show. You're not getting any points. Blitz. Okay, okay. So I have Blitz and Aerial Slam. Cat may or may not also be trying to level up her ability to fight a thing so she can be able to um, make Arnus Arcanum, aka a very fun broken as fuck move. Arnus Arcanum? Mm hmm? On Arcanistanum. Arnus Ake. Arnus. Arnus Akum? Akalakalum. I will hit you with this cheese. 
You know what? This is too good of a punishment for you. Cheese, cheese for everyone. Cheese, cheese for everyone. Um, Ibane zu domine, domine is requiem. Hit your head in the- I was about to say, hit your head! It's Ibane zu domine, domine is requiem, and then it goes Ibane zu domine, bonk, domine is requiem. Can you tell I recreated that scene a few times for school? Also, yes, uh, Aquafuck, that- that was really interesting. I think it evolved from the fact that, like, in the uh, 3D, uh, 3D turtles, showed that they tried doing size differentiation. It was like, oh yeah, Donatello is the, the tall, gangly one. Uh, Leonardo's like the middle, like the middle size, and you know he, he's probably like the the more normal proportion out of them. Michelangelo's the smaller, skinnier yeah. one. You know, general party dude sort of build. And then Raphael's the short, bulky, angry one. <laughs> He's Jeremy Dooley from freaking uh, Achievement Hunter. Exactly. Jeremy Dooley, the only man who I can be like, I'm taller than you. Yeah, and then Rise just went, fuck it, let's make Raphael a snapping turtle. You know what? Knowing how aggressive snapping turtles are, because I live in Florida, so I should know a few things. Accurate! Yeah, I think I even took it a step forward and like when yeah, he's an alligator snapping turtle. Yep, those are native to Florida. And then Leo was a was a uh I I keep thinking he's a red eared slider. Uh like he's a painted box turtle, and then Donatello is a soft shell turtle. Mmm, delicious, delicious soft shell turtle. Raphael would be the one to just try and punch a ghost. Yes, yes he would! Yes, he would punch the ghost. Especially in Rise, he definitely would. Raphael, what are you doing? I'm punching the ghost. Raphael, oh, yeah. you're not a monk. Oh, fuck. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Oh, uh, Slash? Wasn't it Slash from uh, the original show? Or not the original show. From the uh, from from the 3D one? You are aware that it has been very long since I have seen the Michael Bay knockoff. The Michael Bay no, monster. No, not that one. Fuck that. Toka. Oh, yeah, Toka was a snap alligator snapping girl. That's right. I love how you're talking about TMNT while I'm just gathering shit. Because Kat decided to be like, I... Myself somehow. Are you trying to say I'm not entertaining, Core? No, not you. It's the game. Gotcha. But Core... I said this is not Lethal Company. Yeah. Core is going to be making me play Lethal Company again. I can feel it in my kidneys. If you want to, I mean, I'm going to be playing it every Wednesday. Yeah! Gotcha. Until Deep Rock comes out with the new season, and then Core will be playing that every Wednesday. Oh, look! Another hyperfixation! How does it feel? Yay! Hold on. No! Let oh, me... Yeah, no, Slash isn't... I'm thinking of, like, his... Why can't I mutate himself? Because fuck you, you can't get it. I want it. Try jumping on the house. You can't jump on the house. I tried that. Damn, that trick didn't work. <laughs> it looked like it for a moment. It's like <gasps> fleeting hope. Oh fuck me. Okay, wait, wait. Can I use you as a goomba? Got it. Yeah, did Hell you? Oh yeah, fuck you, grumpy. I like grumpy though. I relate to grumpy. Don't judge me, chat. Y'all knew I was grumpy. Look at me. But yeah, to to go off of this train Did you? that I'm evidently stuck on. A nice train to be stuck on. They have catering. Spike! That's his name. God damn it. Not Slash Spike. And yeah, Spike was a tortoise. You're, you're very right, Aqua. Or is also a tortoise. Wait, did I just call Cora Tortoise? The plot of Michelangelo yeah. trying to get his two dads to get along gave me life. Oh fuck, what was that? Was that in Rise or was that in was that in 3D TMNT? Both Mikeys act the same. I swear to god, Michelangelo is a universal constant. Yeah, everybody's he is. else everyone else's are 
personalities can flip flop all at the damn time. But Michelangelo will always be just this goofball of a teenager. Gotcha. That was in Rise of Team. Who is his second dad? It was you, Core. You are the no, second dad. No, 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 I remember now. That's right. <laughs> that was in the second season. Baron Vexum, aka John Cena. Da, 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 da. No, Baron Draxum. God Wait, damn it. I've not been in this area? Question marks! I haven't been in this area, which means there could be oh, treasure. No. treasure. There could be treasure, there could be treasure. There's treasure! I think Donnie's personality switched up hard between the 3D and, and Rise. For the better, too. Guys, 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 there's a treasure chest that I miss. There's a treasure chest that I miss. Then, gra then grab it. Go get it. Get it. Get, get, it, him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. It has soothing crystal in it, really. Is that all We're it rich. has? We're rich. Yes, yes, you're rich. Now stop it. There's nothing yeah, down Don this way? Oh. Donnie went from the, the like, dad, protective dad of the group, just, like, shepherding the, the three idiots along. Yeah. To gotcha. essentially, Come yeah, I know I'm smart, gotcha. and I know I'm the smartest in this group. And that's why I put tracking chips on everybody. What? What, what did I say? No, I didn't put tracking chips on everybody. <laughs> but you're going. Gotcha. I'm gonna hit core with a sh- Y'all are- I'm nerding out about TMNT. You can't stop me. I know I can't stop you. I I, I tried to stop you like five times, but the, the squirt gun kept missing. You want to know, yeah. know a fun thing about Transformers and TMNT? They did a crossover? No, they are both made. They both had a comic made by IDW that fleshed them out like... God, so much. Would you like to know if... TMNT into a furry bait comic. Is that the one with Venus de Milo? Yeah, it has Venus de Milo and it has uh, the newest turtle in it as well. I can't remember her name, but like she was made from a blood transfusion from from Leo into another person. I mean, that's not how blood tran transfusion transfusions work, but okay. I mean, they were doing it to save her life because like she got she had gotten mortally injured, and Leo was like, uh, "Uh, our regenerative abilities allow could allow her to live through this." So wait, hold on. Give her a blood transfusion. Hold on. I'm the only. I'm the only right blood donor. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah? I'm pausing, because I just had a freaking... I was talking about comic books earlier with someone else. Did you ever see the Young Justice cartoon? I did. You remember how Beast Boy becomes Beast Boy in the Young Justice car cartoon? Yes. So, for those who don't know, originally the Young Ju in the Young Justice... Uh, and originally, the t Beast Boy basically got bitten by a green monkey, and they did a weird experiment to make him heal and be better. Now, they didn't do that in the Young Justice one. What they did instead was he was sick. He lost a lot of blood due to an accident, most likely being the victim of something. I can't remember. And what happened was, uh, oh, what's her name? Miss Martian basically goes, well, I have transformative abilities, and I can transfer my, I can turn my blood into his blood type. Which he did, which later caused him to one get green eyes, and then later on get shape shifting abilities, because you know, Miss Martian is a shape shifter, and that's what it's just that's just what it reminds me of. I mean, that's basically what happened. Now I'm just sitting here going, wait, if I donate blood, what happens to people using my chaos blood? Core, don't take my blood. Oh, and I I was saying like of reveal, Venus de Milo is what. Was Vila, Venus de Milo revealed first in yes. the show and then yes. appeared in the comic? Yes. Turtle yeah, tip that's... jokes. Place them here. Yeah, so that's kind of like what I what I was going off of. Yeah, kind of. I, Venus de Milo, because for those who don't remember, uh, TMNT was originally comic books, which were supposed to be a parody of Daredevil, by the way. I need everyone to know that. Remember that. <laughs> I have it's to. Mysterio, guys. It's Mysterio, it's, it's turtles. It's turtles <laughs> hunting a person. It's super serial. Anyway, but yeah, Venus de Milo kind of, if you think about it, kind of got the Harley Quinn treatment. She was a character first introduced into the cartoon and then got put into the comics and became part of the regular canon. If you think about it. 
if you use the big brain. Oh no, Cat! You know I can't do that. Why not? I can't do big brain. Okay. I'm stupid. You're not stupid. This is an effability. I'm, I'm the dumb dumb. Effability, which means if I use a soothing crystal, I'll have damage siph siphon. Hey guys, you want to know what ability I've been trying to save up for? A uh, super serial one. Harness Arcanum. Which has that dan cool. which has damage siphon on it. Now, Arna's Arcadum! I have no clue if it takes up two sa- It uses two- See, if you see us an ability that uses two slots, you know what that means, Core? It means it's a pretty fucking big one. Yeah! What other abilities did I want to give for my lovely little boy? Scaramouche, Scaramouche, can you do the Fandango? If I get Aerial Slam and- Stoppa, I can make time splicer. Stoppa? Yeah, stoppa this bullshit. Boy, lads, we're doing some stoppa. How many stops do I have? I have one. That makes mind shield. Ooh, mind shield's actually kind of fun. Oh, no shit. She was on the shell razor in 2012. Is that. No, that's the 3D one. That's hilarious. That means one of the turtles had like a freaking like OC they made in their head and then proceeded to make it on the shell razor. Let's see, mind shield, which is a very fun spell. Oh, I could get money magnet if I go. Oh no, wait, I can't do one talk. The mind vendor. Mind shield, where are you? Mind shield. I am doing with ignite and stop, which may, which is a. D ver uh, uh D combination which would get Leaf Bracer which I need pulsing. Everyone is just watching cat basically go crazy. Mind Any other abilities I want? There's Thundaga. You know, Thundaga. I mean, <laughs> or hi, how are you? How you doing? From your hands. Thunder, thunder, thundercats, ho. Thunder, 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 thunder cats. Come on, actually, find out something. How do I get fire surge? And as for me, I'm doing fantastic. God, it's so good. It's so good to be able to draw and not, like, scrunch your back up. Are you standing? I am standing. And I'm using, uh, the metal arm that I got for Christmas- for Crimbo present. I don't want Fire Glide. Why would I want Fire Glide? That sounds horrifying! Fire Glide? That sounds like one night after too much chili. I got cha cha I need Fire Dash and Ignite. Okay. I need to get some more ignites. Also, how do I make fire dash? When you feel constipated and don't know what to do, get fire glide. Fire glide may or may not cause anal burns. Okay. I don't know. Confusion, I'm a up. Confusion strike plus fire equals fire dash. Okay. Confusion strike. I can relate. Confuser, confusion strike all the time. Dash. If I do fat combination, that will be a D combo. Wellspring will give me combo plus. Fire dash! Wait, did I save? I will save in a second, okay. Santana! Did I save? Wait. Save. Save down you. Okay. He was using mind bullets. That's telekinesis, Kyle. 
Mind bullets! Alright, now I just gotta level up these maneuvers, and I'll be able to do some cool shit. Okay, I'll save now. Mind the shit out of this. Okay, I'm saving now. Everyone, look, 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 look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. Dear God! There's more. No! I get all the treasure in... Also, Valve, where the fuck is the rest of my comic? Ah! 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 You finally are pissed off about that! Yeah, now that I just remembered it. Yeah, I've been pissed off about it since Comic 6 and we had, and when it was like, ugh. You, uh, you're a multi-million dollar video platform now. Where the fuck is the rest of my comic? Oh, someone has made a joke going, if it's because, the, because a parent joked around saying, listen, if they need artists, we know at least 15 fan artists who are willing to do their job, as long as you pay them, obviously. Some of them won't. Some of them don't need to be paid. Some of them will just do it because they're pissed off that they haven't done it. Because we're on a cliffhanger, people! I need to remind this, everyone. That's it. Have a good time at work, Uncle Fox, so also don't be sorry for that, because I enjoyed my rant! Oh, let Core have Core's fun. Gotcha. Cats get, cats get to Kingdom Hearts, I get all my other hyperfixations. This is how we pay- this is a this is perfectly balanced. If PGL evidently, uh, evidently Valve and, like, a few other Video game companies can't count to three. EA for one of them. No, EA can count to three, but it's always the third one that sucks. Name one good yeah, third game. EA tries to count to three, and then gotcha. then shits itself and like proceeds to ramble on about how how woke culture is or something like that. I don't fucking know. What's the one that I hate? Uh, yeah, the only third game that actually was good by EA is Sims Three. And then there are some games they can't stop gotcha. fucking counting. You can say Call of Duty in this house. <laughs> Call of Duty, Final Fantasy. Oh, hey, Final Fantasy's still good. <laughs> I'll defend Final Fantasy, damn it. Except they're right now currently stuck on 14 and they can't seem to get away from it. Which is funny because, you know, 15 exists and 16 yeah, also exists. They went, they went 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 14, 16, 14, 17, 14, 18, 14. Yeah, they keep going on about 14. Well, if 14's an MMO, you can add to an MMO very easily, and it's easy money for them. And I just sit here going, it's an MMO, and it's stupid. Hey, by the way, you want something similar to that that doesn't cost you a shit ton of money a month? Mabinogi, that's free. I pointed that out to a Final Fantasy 14 fan. Pointed out how Mabinogi and Ki and Final Fantasy XIV are basically very similar, especially when the aspects of jobs and everything. And they got really mad at me. I'm right, but they got mad. They're like, how dare you compare that cheap shit from 2005, that free game from 2005, to Final Fantasy XIV, a wonderful piece of high quality art. <sighs> so, um, uh, tell me about the basic part of the games again. What? You can have multiple jobs to make you have a, improve your abilities really easily? You know, kind of like what we can do in Mabinogi for free. I think 11, the other MMO is still up. I mean, yeah, PGL, but that's kind of like the failed... Experiment. The, the failed older child that a parent figure won't acknowledge until they actually do something with their life. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, some people, I think, yeah, 11 exists. Technically, Harry Potter 3 from EA was also pretty good. Yeah! Yeah, yeah okay, okay, that game was actually pretty decent. Hey, you're right, never off. You're right. You're, 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 you're right, you're right. Fuck Harry, fuck Harry Potter and fuck J.K. Rowling, but... I'm, I'm so, I'm so proud of the community 
for creating such a wonderful piece of fiction just out of ether. It's kind of like SCP Containment Breach, how it just like came out of like a fan base that was just very passionate about a project. I like Harry Potter just like sprouted out of nowhere. Nobody can trace the origins of it. Mine ah, uh, I like it. Remember how uh, the creator of uh, Minecraft, uh, uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? the creator of Minecraft? Mahjong. No, the actual creator, Notch. He said some transphobic shit, and you know what everyone did? Because we weren't. Man, it was so impressive that Hatsumi Miku invented Minecraft. She's so smart. <laughs> I'm just like, you know what? Let Hatsumi Miko have this one. You know what? Fuck it. I said you're going, what? How did the mass agreement go to Hatsumi Miku? I mean, look at her. She's a talented voice yeah. actor and, 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 and a star performer, and everybody loves her. And she doesn't say fucking transphobic shit unless she's paid to. Unless she's forced to. I do like Hatsumi Miku, actually. I have been doing Hatsumi Miku art. Have you guys noticed? Have you guys been following my uh, my Ko-Fi and everything? Hey guys, have you been following? Have you? Have you? Have you? Have you been seeing my insanity? Come on! Come through the mines! I dare you! Ah -ha. Hive mind works in the hive mind works in strange ways. Yeah. <laughs> Say some tell me something we don't know. Gotcha! My personal favorite was this massive hive mind moment where everyone agrees that freaking Luxord has more piercings. I came in to come through the mines. Yes, without protection even. Yeah, Nero, come through the mines. Have come fun. Come through the mines, Nero. They're full of they're full of love. They're full of love and honey. I hear it. I hear it. I hear Baba the booey. Baba booey. And watch as Nero's emotes fly across the screen, doing I don't know what. Oh! You're playing Lethal Company? Hell yeah! Ooh, a firework! Cause baby, you're a firework. Cause Nero, too, is probably just as addicted to that game as I am. Or, is crazy like a fuck. I mean, he's also crazy. Yeah. I've seen what this man does in Final Fantasy. He got slapped by one snake boss and was like, I'm gonna take that personally. Yeah? I mean, like what I did when I got slapped, when I got slapped by Sephiroth, I'm like, that's it. Yeah, where you went off and grinded like a hundred levels out, yeah. came back with a pimp slapping hand. Uh, speaking of that, um... Listen to me, bitch, you give me that achievement. Give me the achievement. I say, give me it. Speaking, speaking of uh, uh, Nero Napier, uh, Nero, uh, when my inevitable uh, stream where I have to raise the donoathon has to happen for uh, Hopper, I need to ask you about how you do the uwu thing. I mean, I know how to do uh, uh, voice. I'm just like, I can't remember the pricing. Uwu. That's the main thing. It's like, how much is it to start and how much is it to shut me up? 15s to start, 20 to shut you up. Thank you, Gore. Yeah, because I'm... you have expressed such hatred for it, guess what? I pay for 15 it. 15 keeps it going. To 15 to start, 20 to stop in bed. <laughs> yeah, because I'm thinking about adding that as a thing. Like, if people donate... Oh. I'm thinking of doing that for the Donoathon. People donate $15, uwu voice happens, 15 to keep yeah. it going, and like, you know, 20 to make me shut up. Gotcha. Yeah. I thought of also doing that where I just talk about a hyperfixation for a long period of time, and it's like, I will keep talking about this hyperfixation. You don't think I can't do this? I've done a three hour presentation about a TF2 lore. I can do this. I'm stubborn enough. I'm 
I'm stubborn enough and passionate enough, enough and by God, I have a cat on the line. Hang in there, baby. Oh, one of my personal favorites is this, like, you get a million dollars, but you have to basically talk about something, talk about a subject for 30 minutes, and everyone with hyperfixation goes, is that the minimum or the maximum? Cause if is it's- Is that a fucking threat or a challenge? Okay, All right, I'm worried. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Let me consult the great tome. Or was that you just picking up one of your D and D books? I feel like that's a D and D book slam. Well, actually, that's a color and light uh, art book that I need to look through. Ah. Uh, this, however, is the D and D lore drop. Funk. This is the this is the Pathfinder book. Oh. Uh, as for the Warhammer lore, I'm working on it. I I keep forgetting to. I'm like during the time that I wanted to. Fun fact: I was actually considering the Wednesday um, that uh, sadly my cat Toshi died. I was gonna do the Warhammer stream, and um, then Toshi died. <laughs> as horrible as that sounds. As shit as that sounds, right, Core? I'm sorry, what? Gotcha. I, I spaced out there for a moment. You're uh, gonna have to repeat yourself. I was planning to do the Warhammer lore stream where I try to explain Warhammer lore on the wins on wins on a Wednesday. And then the Wednesday I was planning to do it, my cat Toshi died. Oh! That's that's unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here being like, I'm fully aware I need to do it, guys. I'm fully You're not going to the Grim Dark universe of, of Gothic Warhammer. 40k with a dead pet. No, I'll get depressed. You will not survive past the Primarchs. Well, Primarchs, that's easy. Daddy issues, the end. Anyway. Yeah, daddy issues, and then you start thinking like I was a daddy one. I'm a. You know I'm what? A... There. I, I'm, I'm just gonna say, I, I have lost pets, and that, that would fuck me up. Oh, it fucked me up hard. Cause it's Toshi. He's, he's, he's part of my stream, people! Hash, yes, Magnus did nothing wrong. Magnus was a good boy, and his dad just got fucking abusive. He's the secret little shit, and was like, Oh, I'm not gonna tell any about it, anybody about the warp and the dangers that lie within. Meanwhile, there's Magnus over there going, Golly gee, Dad's gonna be so happy with me if I... You know, get this all done and stuff. I'm gonna look so much up into the warp. Oh, I met this elder god. Like he, he's gonna teach me all these knowledge and stuff, and about the warp ways and and how to do stuff. I gotta share this with Dad. Proceed to envelop all of Earth in demons. Oops. Golly gee, I wonder if a parental figure telling him about those dangers would have, I don't know, stopped him. <laughs> One hurt. So yeah. Um. So uh. So, yeah. I also have to like figure out like so much stuff. Oh, by the way, on the fifth, little Hopper gets to go to the doctor. Woo! Get the feet chopped. But no, he's just getting examined by a specialist so they can figure out. Because my mom pointed out, there could be a chance he might not get his foot removed. I go, what do you mean? I go, well, they could, like, you know, fix it. I go, what? By breaking his legs over and over again? Gotcha. <laughs> Speaking of which, Emperor watching Lehman Russ crack Magnus' back like a get get bar. Look what you made me do, son. You see, this is what happens when you go fucking around with things and finding out. But Dad, I was just trying to make you proud. Now that was your first mistake. So, y bring it. Lehman, uh, burn that yeah. planet. Uh, yeah. So yeah. yeah, that is the uh, that is the plan. Breaking the legs costs more in the long run. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is like, maybe they'll straighten his leg out. I go, Mom, look at this cat's leg and tell me they're going to straighten it out. <sighs> and then Hopper is just basically being Lion King right at that moment when I did it. <laughs> uh, it's a 
Come in, yeah. Come in immediately, Otto. What's your problem? Upper's like, can you please be put down? I wish to stop being Lion King. <laughs> can you please put me on the ground now? No. <laughs> how do you think my back? How do you think my back legs got fucked up to begin with? Oh no! What's really fun is my mom has now started yelling ferreting every time I hold. Cause Hopper is a long, wiggly cat. Okay. Even for a kitten, he's long and wiggly, and I just carry him like a ferret. And mom's like, "Stop carrying your cat like a ferret." I'm like. No, he doesn't mind it. Look at this. Holds him up, does a little wiggle with him. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. We're going to the elephant graveyard in one second. I just, I just, I just want the shinies, okay? I the just... The elephant graveyard? But Simba, you're not supposed to go over there. Are you... Wait, do you actually turn into a... Turn into a lion in this one? No, 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 no. I, I meant to say Keyblade graveyard, but I see my brain oh. for some reason went elephant. Because <laughs> we were talking about Lion King! So, you know, association! You just straighten it out, you know? The leg in the shape of a pretzel. <laughs> Mother! Mother! My femur looks like a fucking loop de loop. Thanks again! I mean, I know there is ways to do it like that, but I'm sitting here going, no! Oh, there probably is ma miraculous, magical, medical ways to do it, but you know, it'll cost a fuck ton. You know what's cheaper? Just cutting the thing off, and he's not gonna complain about it. He's a cat. No, my personal favorite is just like, listen, mom, I haven't yet to own a three uh, three-legged cat, and it's on my list of weird cats I haven't owned yet. I actually do have a list of cats I haven't owned because I've had so many cats all my life. I've had stubtail cats. I've had no-tail cats, I have had black cats, I have had Maine Coons, I have had so many cats. I think the cats I currently- You're starting to mimic a little bit the crows from, from Dumbo. Because of the main one- I've seen a horse fly, I've seen- Yeah, but I've never seen an elephant fly. Um, but uh, you know, I, I've had a lot of different cats, right? Part of the bit? Wait, what bit? What, what bit did I miss? What Oh. Sorry, PGL. I ruined the bit. Anyway, um, so, but I've never, but I've never owned, like, a three-legged cat. I've never owned a one-legged cat. I've never owned an orange cat. I've never owned a ginger cat. Fun fact about me. I was like, yes, you have. I go, Mom, Sunny was around before I was born. Wait a minute. Hold on. Time out. Wait. We need to. We need to examine what Dream just just posted about Warhammer 40k stuff, or at least I, I want to. Okay, fine. Cover the Warhammer 40k stuff as I walk around in the place that's playing fucking who the leader of the club that's made as, for you and me. As they state, I did love that when Gilman came back, his first thought was, "Now that I think about it, Dad was kind of a dick." They're healing. The Primarchs are healing. Yeah. Gotcha. They're starting to realize, hey, our perfect father figure wasn't actually all that perfect. He was kind of a douchebag. Yeah. Uh, fun fact about me. I've never owned, you know, the big, lazy, fat orange cats, right? Never owned one. I've never owned a ginger cat. You've never owned a Garfield? Mm -mm. I was like, yes. I love that when I was thinking about it out loud and my mom's like, you have owned an orange cat. I go... Huh? And she goes, Sonny. I go, who the fuck is Sonny? And Mom's like, oh, no way. He died before you were born. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, Cat. We killed Garfield before you got to him. No, he died of old age. Um, I've never owned a hairless cat. Although Mom likes to argue with that one. I go, oriental short hairs do not count as hairless, Mother. They are short hairs. If I can't look at this cat and scream, bald, it's not not bald yeah it's not a it's not it's not a hairless cat i've never owned a hairless cat uh there is a cat i've always wanted to own which are known as hemingways also known as the mitten cats i've always wanted to own a hemingway which fun fact because um where hemingway cats originated they live in Flor they originated in florida so i have a good chance of getting a mitten cat if i you know go to the right place um i've never owned a mitten cat never owned a one-eyed cat never owned a three-legged cat yet <laughs> I love how I said yet at the end of that one. Just ominous yetting. Um, I'm trying to think of other cats I've never owned. 
I said hairless, right? Yeah, I said hairless. Bald! <laughs> Bald! <laughs> Bald! My mom even looked at me going, if you owned a hairless cat, you know how much responsibility a hairless cat is. I go, yes, constant rubbing of lotions. I'm fully aware. That's why I might never own a hairless cat. <laughs> hairless cats are a very huge responsibility. Also, we have to put them in sweaters. But then I don't have a chance to call them my skin tint. Oh, well, you can't call them fur babies. That is such a cursed gotcha. fucking word. I don't know if I I feel comfortable hearing it. Skinfint or fur baby? Skinfint. I've heard fur baby before. Skinfint, however, sounds like a venereal disease. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you this. He died of skinfint. <laughs>